Hello, it's Leslie. Welcome to the Sewing Circle. Um, this is my Friday Sews, and I just wanted to bring you up to speed with what I've been working on this week and what's been going on in my sewing trailer. Now, um, if you watched last week, I had the Valentine video, and in there I shared with you the little haul I got from our local thrift shop. Now, those bags contain the Pippet lounge wear pattern, the PDF, that was all cut out in this beautiful gray gauze. And so I wanted to share, I did get those made, or that one made and another one. So this is what I actually picked up. The buttons were included, the thread was included, even the elastic for the waist, along with some other notions. Um, these are the little shorts that came all cut out um, in my size. They did turn out to be a little oversized, which I don't mind in a lounge set. Um, I love this so much and this went together so fun that I decided to make another one and using my hashtag, what do I have in my hand? I looked through my stash and I found this, um, this cute checkered in a light pink. I think this will be perfect for the spring. And here is little top I put together. Now I was just shy of the fabric to do the lining piece, which is a, a two pieces that seem back here, but it is a rather long lining piece. So I went ahead and went with a floral, which I love. I think this is so cute and it's so roomy and comfy. I did size this down just slightly to the one that was pre-cut uh, pre out. Um, and I will share at the end some pictures of me in it. Now, this pattern goes together like a dream. Like, if you've ever had a pattern where everything just lines up perfectly, you don't have to fuss around with anything or trim things back, this is the pattern. So I highly recommend. Um, I did not have instructions for it. It was easy for me, very self-explanatory. Of course, I'm an experienced seamstress. I put together a lot of outfits, dresses, and things. So it wasn't hard for me to figure it all out. Um, but... So that was that. That was my sewing for this week. Um, I did do a little uh, shopping around and I did pick up um, at our local thrift. Someone had donated buttons and I got this entire bag of buttons. It's probably, it feels like it's probably like six pounds of buttons. I'll have to weigh it. But, and uh, I paid $6.99 for this and I will have all the buttons. I ever need for any buttonry in the future. Uh, what do you do with a ton of buttons? I was thinking I would, I might like to put them in a mesh bag and put them through my dishwasher or washing machine, kind of clean them, and then organize them in little drawers so that I can find my buttons easily in the colors that I want, rather than dig through a bag or a jar of buttons. Um, so check your local thrift shops. There are amazing things there. I also picked up um, a couple of packs of zippers. I haven't even opened this. They're, they're four 24 inch zippers for $1.99. Cannot beat that. Now they, these ones are in blue. The other one has one white in it, but they're just, they're just zippers. Um, I will use these and, um, for your information, zippers can also be dyed, and sometimes the paint tab will pick up the dye in it, which you might experience that if you've ever dyed any clothing, that the zippers and the tags sometimes will pick up the dye. I have been having so much fun looking through Facebook pages that have patterns for sale and finding old patterns and I just love scrolling through. I don't know if anyone else is like me, but I found a pattern that I absolutely adored. And so I did pick up this pattern. Now I am not a hundred percent sure. I think, let me see. Um, okay. It says it's from Germany. It's from the 1980s. I Googled it. Um, it's a new fashion pattern. I don't know what that language is, but Google Translate will translate any words. 
um, through photograph. Um, when you use your Google sh search and you use your camera and then you hit translate, it will translate any words. Isn't this adorable? I love that green version with the, the open neck and the poofy sleeves. So this is my one of my dream makes for the up and coming spring and summer. So stay tuned for this one. I I don't know. I loved the 1980s. I was in high school in the 80s, but our dresses were amazing. Um, this pattern also has the belt. The belt is part of it. And so I will be making it with a belt. What color should I make? Now, I did want to give you a shout out to my daughter, Eliana, and this sweater that I have on that she made me for Christmas. I have been obsessed with it and I've been wearing it literally every week I have worn this sweater. Um, it's so cozy and comfortable. Do any of you crochet? Um, this is a pattern she got off of um, YouTube. It's a YouTube uh, pattern. I will get that from her and link it below. She does her own, own form of cuffs um, that is a crochet that looks like knit. Uh, I have not tried this yet. I do crochet. I'm working currently on a blanket. Um, so that's, this is really fun and exciting. I love handmade clothing and I love handmade gifts. Um, I have been working on my branding and I've, I think I've, you've probably seen, I've been um, branding my own clothing, um, my own things that I wear for myself. And it just gives each piece kind of a special little, I don't know, love notion or made with love feeling or um, beyond homemade feeling when you add your own special tag. And so I wanted to take time to share some tags that I have purchased um, in the past year. Uh, this I just got and I will link below. Um, this lady off of Etsy created these for me. Uh, they're Sto Studio 17, which is, this is my sewing studio. Wherever I sew is my studio. And 17 is my 12, 12 children and my husband's 12 children combined. We have 17 bl in a blended family. And this is really cute. When you fold this, um, the word handcrafted is underneath and studio 17 is on the top and it's just really cute like I put this inside of my little shorties and um you can just use it on really any kind of handcrafted thing but I really like to add a little tag now I know the back of my shorts are here and it just gives it a more finished look which as you know I've been trying to go for a more professional look in all of my sewing this year now some other labels I've picked up, and some of you may have seen these already. This um, pack comes with uh, comes from Hobby Lobby. It is Sewology. Um, this one says "Stitched with Love," and there's another one down here. I can't remember exactly what it said. I think it might said "Made with Love." Um, I really love these. These ones iron on, and then I like to stitch around them. But the black doesn't always match everything. There are pink ones you can get, and I'm sure there's other ones if you look up Sewology online. The other labels I got are from Catton, and these are just a luxury woven label that say, Hello Gorgeous. Now, isn't it amazing? Like, we can put words of encouragement inside our own clothing. I love the idea of these. Hello Gorgeous. I have not used these yet, but I am looking forward to using them at some point and then the fun the fun 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 I love this this is a woven uh, label by subline and it says made by unicorns if you can see that made by unicorns adorable anyway those are the labels that I have been working with and I've been stamping my own labels I'm really happy with um just kind of my endeavor to create a label that is um, in align with alignment with who I am. And um, yeah, so that's what I've been working on in the sewing room this week. I did finish up my cup cozies that, from last week and just been enjoying a beautiful 
a few sunny days here in California and now we've switched to a lot of rain. Thankfully it did stop raining for a minute, put a little pause for me on the weather while I'm filming because my trailer does accept the rain with a lot of clatter. I hope you guys are having a great day. Enjoy your sewing journey and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this and uh, leave a comment down below. I love to connect with my subscribers and new people. Love you all. Have a great sewing journey. Bye.